The following message is transmitted at the request of the New Mexico State Emergency Management Agency. At 9.47 a.m. Mountain Daylight Time, a disaster of an unknown type has occurred at the Black Mesa Research Facility, causing significant damage and failure to various power and communications systems in the surrounding areas. An evacuation order may be issued within the next few hours should the situation worsen. On-site military personnel have been sent into the facility to quarantine and contain the unknown threat. To prepare for a possible evacuation order, gather approximately a two-week supply of food, water, clothing, first aid kits, flashlights with extra batteries, and battery-powered radios. Repeat, a disaster of an unknown type has occurred at the Black Mesa Research Facility. This is KKOB. We will continue to serve the Albuquerque area. If you are not in this local area, Tune into a local station broadcasting news and information for your area. The following message is transmitted at the request of the New Mexico State Emergency Management Agency and the United States military. A mandatory evacuation order has been issued for all residents within a 150-mile radius of the Black Mesa Research Facility. Make sure to bring an emergency supply of food, water, clothing, first aid kits, flashlights with extra batteries, and battery-powered radios. Follow evacuation routes marked by local authorities, and only travel in one vehicle. Do not return to the evacuation zone until an all-clear has been given. If you are unable to leave, because you have no method of transportation, locate your nearest police department or military officer. Do not use phones during this emergency. Phone lines should be kept open for emergency use only. This is KKOB. We will continue to serve the Albuquerque area during this evacuation. If you are not in this local area, tune into a local station broadcasting news and information for your area. Civil danger for the southwestern United States. The following message is transmitted at the request of the United States Department of Defense and the United States military. A nuclear detonation has occurred at the Black Mesa Research Facility, spreading radioactive fallout for several miles around the facility. Along with this, various animal attacks from creatures of indeterminate origin have been reported across the states of New Mexico, Arizona, Utah, Nevada, California, Colorado, Oklahoma, and Texas, along with reports of anomalies which civilians are calling portals. This is believed to be connected to the Black Mesa Research Facility disaster in New Mexico. The estimated number of fatalities from the combined creature attacks and nuclear detonation is believed to be between 5,000 and 7,500. Remain indoors at all times. If you have a weapon, keep it loaded, and near you at all times during this emergency. These creatures are extremely dangerous, and are assumed to be hostile to all persons. Please stand by. Information regarding hostile creatures will soon follow. Please stand by. Information regarding hostile creatures will soon follow. Please stand by. Information regarding... The following message contains information regarding unknown, hostile creatures that have appeared in your area. Listen carefully, as this information is vital to your safety, and may save your life. Head crab. Parasitic creature roughly the size of a pumpkin. Targets human hosts, and mounts itself on the head, taking over the host's nervous system. 
it is impossible to remove the creature from a head once it latches on. Extremely aggressive. Head crab zombie, human host for head crabs. Resembles heavily disfigured human with massive chest cavity exposed, and long skeletal fingers with head crab on face. Attacks any living thing in sight. Extremely aggressive. Gonark. Large arthropod creature between 10 and 15 feet tall and weights between 700 and 1000 pounds. Heavily armored and has a large sack attached to its underbelly. Believed to be the final life stage of a normal head crab. Extremely territorial. Bull squid. Bipedal creature with tentacles on face. Between 7 and 8 feet in length and weighs between 400 and 600 pounds. Spits highly corrosive acid that can melt flesh and bone. Extremely aggressive. Hound eye. Tripedal creature between 3 and 4 feet in length and weighs between 20 and 50 pounds. Has several eyes on the front of its face. Attacks with a powerful sonic wave that can deal serious internal damage if in close proximity. Travels in packs numbering between 2 and 5. Moderately aggressive. Ant lion. Insectoid creature 5 feet long and weighing between 20 to 70 pounds. Creates and inhabits underground nests. Has the ability to fly short distances. Hides under sand and other soft substances. Extremely aggressive. Ichthyosaur. Aquatic creature between 12 and 15 feet in length and weighs between 200 to 700 pounds. Lives in large freshwater bodies, including lakes, rivers, and swamps. Attacks with massive jaws which can easily tear flesh. Extremely aggressive. Leech. Aquatic creature less than 1 foot in length. Weighs between 1 and 3 pounds. Lives in saltwater bodies such as oceans. Attack in swarms similar to Baranus. Extremely aggressive. Tentacle. Massive arthropod creature between 100 and 300 feet long. Reacts violently to sound and vibration. Attacks with large sharpened beak-like appendage on face. Extremely aggressive. Barnacle. Stationary creature which attaches itself to ceilings. Has long tongue with natural adhesive that will attach to most organic material, including humans. Moderately aggressive. Manta. Large flying creature roughly the size of a commercial airliner. Emits high voltage electric beams from its underbelly. Moderately aggressive. Panther eye. Cougar sized predatory creature. Attacks prey with claws and teeth. Runs at speeds of 30 miles per hour or higher. Has large red eye in the center of its face. Extremely aggressive. Stuka bat. Bat like creature between 5 and 6 feet long and weighs between 10 and 15 pounds. Attacks prey by dive bombing them from the air. Moderately aggressive. Vortigaunt. Alien like creature between 5 and 6 feet tall. Discharges green electricity from hands when threatened. Non aggressive and less provoked. Xenotherium. Alien like creature between 8 and 12 feet tall. Armed with a biological weapon that fires hornet-like creatures. Extremely aggressive. This message will repeat every 10 minutes, or until new information is available. Stay tuned to this channel, to receive more information as it becomes available. This message will repeat every 10 minutes, or until new information is available. Stay tuned to this channel, to receive more inf- News update, it has been confirmed by survivors, of what is now being called the Black Mesa Incident, that the creatures, that have been attacking humans for the last 24 hours are of interdimensional and extraterrestrial origin. Black Mesa scientists have claimed responsibility for the incident. The present situation resulted from a resonance cascade which opened several portals to a border world dimension, allowing the aliens to come to Earth and over on the Black Mesa Research Facility in New Mexico. The portals have been spotted in several states, now including Oregon, Kansas, Louisiana, Arkansas, Wyoming, Idaho, Nebraska, and Missouri. Military forces in the affected states have been mobilized to contain the threat, and the Mexican government has been alerted to the incoming alien forces.
We interrupt your programming. This is a national emergency. Important instructions will follow. The following information is transmitted at the request of the United States government. At 12.07 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, numerous unidentified flying objects appeared simultaneously at various points across the United States and across the world. These aircraft are confirmed to be hostile. At 12.15 p.m., reports began to appear of attacks from these aircraft from what are now designated as portal storms. The United States and the world is under attack from an extraterrestrial source. There have been electromagnetic pulse attacks in some areas, which have caused total blackouts. In addition, reports claim that these aircraft are carrying unidentified entities that are disembarking from transport vessels and are patrolling the area in squads. They are using an unknown type of directed energy-based weaponry. These entities are described as standing at 7 feet tall, with green or brown metallic skin, and communicating in radio chatter. All efforts of diplomacy have failed. These entities are reported to have an unnatural strength, speed, aggression, and resistance to conventional weaponry. U.S. citizens should immediately shelter in place in a sturdy structure with as few windows as possible to avoid being attacked. To shelter in place, turn off all lights. Close and lock all windows and doors. Secure and barricade yourself with any means possible, including furniture or boards. Turn off all heating or ventilation units. Gather food, water, weaponry, flashlights with batteries, and a battery-powered radio. All military, law enforcement, and civil service personnel are required to aid in any counter-offensive measures. Repeat. All military, law enforcement, and civil service personnel are required to aid in counter-offensive measures. Only engage the prior alien threat if your life is at risk. The president will be speaking on all lines shortly. Stand by for this message. This is an emergency action notification. All broadcast stations and cable systems shall transmit this emergency action notification message. This station has interrupted regular programming at the request of the White House to participate in the emergency alert system. During this emergency, most stations will remain on the air to provide news and information. This is WXYZ. We will continue to serve the Detroit metropolitan area. If you are not in this local area, tune to a station providing news and information for your area. This is an emergency action notification. All broadcast stations and cable systems shall transmit this emergency action notification message. This station has interrupted regular programming at the request of the White House to participate in the emergency alert system. During this emergency, most stations will remain on the air to provide news and information. This is WXYZ. We will continue to serve the Detroit metropolitan area. If you are not in this local area, The following message is transmitted at the request of the Universal Union. An emergency action termination has been issued for the region formerly known as the United States. The emergency action notification issued at 12.16 p.m. today is no longer in effect. Earth has surrendered. Repeat. Earth has surrendered. All citizens are now required to leave their shelters and arrive at the nearest metropolitan city for processing and categorization. Resistance will be met with force. This station will be discontinuing programming shortly, but first, a message from Wallace Breen, new administrator of Earth. Please rise for the Universal Union Anthem.
It has come to my attention that some have lately called me a collaborator as if such a term were shameful. I ask you what greater endeavor exists than that of collaboration. In our current unparalleled enterprise, refusal to collaborate is simply a refusal to grow, an insistence on suicide, if you will. Did the lungfish refuse to breathe air? It did not. It crept forth boldly while its brethren remained in the blackest ocean abyss, with lidless eyes forever staring at the dark, ignorant and doomed despite their eternal vigilance. Would we model ourselves on the trilobite? Are all the accomplishments of humanity fated to be nothing more than a layer of broken plastic shards thinly strewn across a fossil bed, sandwiched between the Burgess Shale and an eon's worth of mud? In order to be true to our nature and our destiny, we must aspire to greater things. We have outgrown our cradle. It is futile to cry for mother's milk when our true sustenance awaits us among the stars. And only the universal union that small minds call the Combine can carry us there. Therefore I say, yes, I am a collaborator. We must all collaborate, willingly, eagerly, if we expect to reap the benefits of unification. And reap we shall.